Well, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Were you expecting a change of conductor? Some were, some weren't. Uh, for anyone confused, yes, lost a little bit of height. Lost a little bit of hair. <coughs> Slightly different accent. Um, but my, my thanks to the bandmaster for conducting through the first half. And I am Major Evan Frost and I'm privileged to be the director of music of this fine band behind me, the Band of the Royal Regiment of Scotland. And on tonight, joined by some guests which I know have been introduced. And we'll talk a little bit more again about them later. Now we normally start the second half with something that's quite, dare I say, in your face. And we tried not to do that tonight. And actually, the first work is something that originally I thought was Irish. I was then corrected by a member of the band who was Scottish and was a little bit offended. <laughs> because you may have recognised it as um, Will, you, Will You Go, Lassie Go, or The Braes of Balkither. Um, but it's also in Ireland, it's also, well, Wild Mountain Time. And so it's actually quite a nice way of highlighting that connection between music that travels across the sea and comes in either direction. And for our second item, we're going to, a bit like we did in the first half, where we had a piece of film music, so John Williams and Far and Away, which had an Irish connection. In the second half, our second piece is going to be a piece of film music, but this time with a more Scottish connection. And it's the music, or some of the music, from Braveheart. And, well actually it's been really cleverly reworked, the main sort of love theme has been very cleverly reworked by a very talented member of the band, musician Ian Mitchell. And he's reworked it as a solo for our principal horn player, Corporal Joanne Lum. And so, to play Reflections on Braveheart, please welcome Corporal Joanne Lum, our principal horn, and to conduct his own work, please welcome musician Ian Mitchell.
Well, how about that, ladies and gentlemen? Not only some stunning horn... She's gone. No, you're there, you're there, brilliant. Um, fantastic playing there by Corporal Joanne Lum, our principal horn, and also what a beautiful piece of music so cleverly put together by musician Ian Mitchell. Over another round of applause if you don't mind. Now I'm sure that any of you is working out there, that there's a bit, bit, bit of a mantra about not showing up your boss. Maybe a little bit of that going on there. But what I didn't explain is actually musician Ian Mitchell, he's actually had a full career as an army musician. So he started as a trooper musician in the band of the Blues and Royals a number of years ago. Uh, was a progressed through, was a regular bandmaster included with the Irish Guards, so a Celtic link there. Then he then had reserve service, and I should mention, with, was Jack Knox, were you introduced earlier? You, you were, we're well, being introduced again now. So, so we have reserve, reserve musician with us tonight, and we also have about half the audience who are one of the reserve bands as well. So the ladies and gentlemen, in fact, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna love this, but you're, gonna, but you're gonna do it. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Lowland Band, Six Scots, Army Reserve Band, please stand up. Thank you for your support, even if you were told to be here, but thank you for your support. <laughs> Not by me, I should add. Um, as I say, so Ian had a full career, um, and actually, some of us were trainees at our school, Nella Hall, that used to be the Army School of Music, uh, when Ian was going through as a student bandmaster. And um, now the Army School of Music has joined with the Royal Marines, the Royal Marines School of Music is down in, in Portsmouth, it's now a joint school, and so our trainees work alongside. It's quite nice, actually, that tonight we're joined by members of the Royal Marine Band, from Scotland as well. And it, one, of the, one of the musicians mentioned to me earlier that only literally three weeks ago they left training and one of the Royal Marines had been in training with some of our young, uh, younger members of the band. So musician Owen Thomas, I think I've got the name roughly right, musician Owen Thomas literally left the Royal Marines School of Music two weeks ago. Well done to him just there on the percussion there. And it was while I was at Nella Hall as a trainee a number of years ago that I was introduced to the next piece of music. It's called Island of Legend and Law. And it really does just try to evoke the imagery of the legend and the, the folklore of Ireland. It's in three sections that run straight into each other. It's a mixture of traditional tunes and also some newly composed music. So you'll hear Brian Baru's march. You'll hear a sort of new melody based upon the legendary uh, female heroine, Grace O'Malley and then there's a battle scene at the end. So ladies and gentlemen, this is literally the imagery of Ireland of legend and law. We hope you enjoy. <laughs> 